So next is going to be about evaluating investment opportunities in crypto. So this is a little bit more of an advanced section, but it's quite important to go through this fundamental knowledge if you want to kind of get a greater understanding. Now, you don't really need to know this too much, but some of these phrases are going to help you even when you're on the more simple side of investing. First of all, we're going to go over economic seasons and the bull and bear markets and what they are. So crypto goes through a series of different economic seasons, just like with normal investing in the stock market, for an example, which are basically different seasons of the business cycle which are the natural fluctuations of economic activity during periods we have a few we have expansion we have peak contraction and trough okay so expansion is basically where the economy is growing and there's an increase in activity employment and spending then the peak is basically the phase in which the economy reaches its highest point and then after reaching its highest point it begins to slow down but we have a high level of employment and spending then we have contraction Okay, so this is where the economy, as it's peaked, begins to slow down and economic activity, employment and spending slowly begins to decrease. And the trough is when the economy has hit its very lowest point. OK, so this is where it begins its recovery after hitting its very lowest point and high levels of unemployment and low consumer spending is existing here. So this is the turbulent times we were talking about earlier. OK, that's the trough. Then we have the two main terms that you'll hear in the crypto investing space. So this is the bull and the bear. So what do the bull and bear mean? Well, the bull and bear basically refer to the bull market and the bear market, which are the terms basically using to apply to the overall trends of the market and the market sentiment. Basically, a bull market refers to to when the market's rising and the confidence of the investors are high. This is where investors are optimistic about where the market's going and the economy and its future prospects. And these can also be applied to an asset too. And then the bear market is when the market is falling and investing confidence is low. Okay, so this is where most are very pessimistic about the economy and its future. Okay, so you'll see a lot of people selling and panic selling in a bear market. Now, these market cycles all have very varying fluctuations and durations to them. And some of them last sometimes for years or sometimes for months there's no kind of trend data we can apply specifically to determine how long will last we can only see how long they lasted in the past which don't necessarily repeat themselves so let's talk about how to evaluate an investment opportunity in crypto so to evaluate if an asset or a cryptocurrency in this circumstance is actually worth taking an interest into you need to first think about many factors right so let's consider a few so first of all we have technology so this is the technology behind a certain asset which is very important so for an example let's talk about what we said earlier so ethereum is very good for its technology right this is because ethereum's smart contracts technology allow it to facilitate the trading of nfts so we can sell digital art assets due to smart contracts on its architecture or the popular DeFi apps which are built on Ethereum, which make it have many more opportunities for growth and development. So that's one thing to look at the technology. Then we also have the market conditions. So this is the supply and demand of the coin, the market sentiment, the current economic and political events. All of these three things will impact the value due to the market conditions. Then we have the team. OK, so a team behind a certain project or a cryptocurrency is a crucial factor basically for that project's long term success. Right. Because think of it, you're not investing in a coin because it has a pretty logo you're investing in the people who run the project okay do they have a good track record experience and credentials to actually develop the project or are they just doing it for a quick book that's very important then you need to assess the risks so the volatility the cybersecurity risks or its regulation or lack thereof and assess the risk profile of the asset before investing in anything and consider how the risks impact the potential returns. So when I talk about an asset, we're thinking about a cryptocurrency, okay? So Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, any cryptocurrency, right? That's what I mean by asset in this situation. And then factors we have to consider before investing is next. So before we invest, we need to think over two main points, okay? So these main two points are the investment goals and how crypto fits into your personal investment strategy and then also risk tolerance how much risk are you willing to take onto yourself or to mitigate okay that's very important now we're going to go over tools and resources for evaluating investments so this is another advanced section again and these are basically tools and websites you can use to basically have a look over the market and over its trend data so evaluating different cryptocurrencies requires different tools and strategies and resources for more of an informed set of investment decisions right some of the following key tools which i'm going to be talking about 
and the resources can be useful for evaluating investing in cryptocurrency and which investments you have to choose from. The first one is coin market cap. Now I use this website quite a lot at the very start, although when I first got into crypto, I didn't really understand it. It's a good resource to use and I think it's one of the most simplest out of this list to familiarize yourself with. Now this website and others like it, um, another example is Crypto Compare, that's very similar to Coin Market Cap. They basically all do the same thing, but they show comprehensive data on all of the cryptocurrencies, their past prices, the market capitalization, their trading volumes and how they stack up against others and you can compare them to other coins, right? Most of this stuff is very advanced. You don't actually need to know this if you just wanna buy and sell in a very simple way, but these are good tools to use. Then cryptocurrency exchanges are what everybody needs to use. We use a crypto exchange to buy and sell crypto and look at information on market trends, trading volumes, and price movements. Then if you wanna keep up to date with the whole news scene, you can use crypto news sites. A popular one would be Coindesk. These basically provide news and analysis data on the crypto market and it lets you look at the whole development of it as a whole. Then white papers are also another thing which you could look at too. So white papers are basically the documentation written about a certain crypto coin or project. Each currency has a white paper. These are documents that provide detailed information on the technology behind them, their future vision, and kind of like a roadmap for their development and where the team behind it wants it to go, right? It offers an insight into their potential future value and utility. So think of it like on a website like Kickstarter where we're investing in a new film or video game project. It's kind of like you're betting on the people making it and their roadmap for the future. So reading the white paper is a very good thing to decide if you want to put your money into them. Okay, very important. Forums and social media are also good. So forums and subreddits, which are dedicated to trading and crypto can be a great source for discussion and debate on the cryptocurrency market. And they can kind of give a further insight into market sentiment, what people's positions and thoughts are on the current market and what they're investing in and just have engagement from the community. Although following people's advice from these boards instead of making your own decisions is not really a good idea. Then we have technical analysis tools. So these are for the most advanced of an investors, okay? So basically popular technical analysis tools, which allow you to provide charting and analysis tool sets, which lets you help identify trends, support and resistance levels and other technical indicators, okay? So examples of these analysis tools, which I know of personally are Coinigi and TradingView. Okay, I'd recommend TradingView, it's the most popular one. I don't really use it very frequently, but that's a good tool because it has everything you need and it's good to look at trend data. Then we have fundamental analysis tools. So tools such as Masari and Coinmetrics are tools which provide an in-depth analysis of the different cryptocurrencies and their underlying technologies and metrics like on-chain activity and network adoption. 